Hey, what's up everyone? If your website isn't using HTTPS and doesn't have an SSL certificate installed, you really should consider moving from HTTP to HTTPS. And the reason for this is that HTTPS is so much more secure for your site visitors. And because of that, most modern web browsers mark a site using HTTP as not secure and also let those visitors know that the connection is not private. And you will know if you've ever visited a site and seen one of these messages, how off-putting it can be. And you pretty much go back to the search engine and look for a similar site. I'm sure you can imagine the kind of damage that would do to your website traffic. And if it's a business website, what kind of damage that could do to your business as well. So it's something that we definitely want to get sorted out. So let's now take a look at how we find out if our website is using HTTP or HTTPS. So here we are on Bluehost website and as you can see, if you come up to the website address bar right here, you can see a little padlock right there. And if you click on it, it will tell you that this connection is secure. So any site that has a little padlock like that next to it has an SSL certificate installed and has a secure connection. If you see anything that says not secure there or a warning sign at all next to the website address, then that most likely is not a secure connection and is running on HTTP, not HTTPS. If your website is using HTTP, Please don't worry because in this video, we're going to show you two methods that can help you move from HTTP to HTTPS. Let's jump right in. So the first thing we need to do in this video is install an SSL certificate on our site. Now, many great hosting providers actually give you a free SSL certificate when you start a website with them. So it's best to double check with your hosting provider and see if you've got that in place already. For this example, I'm just going to show you with Bluehost where you can find your SSL certificate and how you can turn it on. So I've logged into my Bluehost account. I'm just going to head over to my sites and I'm going to manage the site that I want the SSL certificate on. If I head to the security tab up here and just click on that. So we can see right here that we have got an SSL certificate right here, but we haven't got it switched on. So all we need to do with Bluehost is toggle this from off to on. And now we can see that that's on and it's also forcing HTTPS on all of our pages. So that's in the back end on the WordPress dashboard and across the site. So what do we do if we don't actually have a free SSL certificate with our hosting? The best thing you could do, the method that we actually recommend is head to a website called domain.com. Now this is domain.com and it offers a lot of different things, but if you head up to the security tab up here, you'll see that they offer SSL certificates. If you click on that, you'll then see the different SSL certificates they offer. And all you have to do is just go ahead and purchase one of those for your website. Once you've purchased an SSL certificate, you'll then need to go back to your hosting provider and ask them to install it on your website. Once you've done all that and got an SSL certificate in place and installed on your website, we can then head to our WordPress dashboard and follow the next step. So now we've got the SSL certificate installed on our website with our hosting. We can now look at the first of two methods to get the SSL certificate working with WordPress. Our first method is a recommended method for any beginner because it's a super easy method. And all you have to do is install one plugin called Really Simple SSL and that'll take care of everything for you. So as I said, all we need to do is install a plugin. So we're gonna head over to plugins here on the left-hand side, hover over that and then click on add new. We're gonna head up here to the top right and in the search bar, just type really simple SSL. Hit enter once you've added that. And the first option right here, really simple SSL is the one we want. So we're just gonna click install now and that's now installing. Once it's installed, we can click the activate button there. And as you can see, this is the really simple SSL dashboard. And the first thing that we can see here is SSL is not yet enabled on this site. So all we need to do is click the activate SSL button right here, and that'll take care of that. So this pop-up is just telling us that we're ready to migrate to SSL. And it's giving us a little bit of information about what's gonna happen. It's also letting us know it's detected an SSL certificate, the one that we installed on the website. So all we need to do then is just click the activate SSL button and here we get a little success message saying thanks for updating and we can see the SSL has been activated on the site. The really simple SSL plugin has a ton more features that come with it as well. So there are recommendations that it could give you to improve website security and things like that on your website. All I'm gonna do is click go to dashboard right here and we can see that there's here are some of the recommendations and you can go ahead if you want to and fix those recommendations. But for this video, all we wanted to do was migrate from HTTP to HTTPS for our WordPress site. And we've done that with this plugin. So we're just gonna check that on our website. We're gonna head up here, click on that. As you can see, everything is working on the site. We can see all the images as well. So what really Simple SSL is doing is basically covering everything from migrating from HTTP to HTTPS in WordPress, but also any mixed content errors as well, it's taking care of them. So if any of these images have a HTTP link, 
to them. Really simple SSL is doing all the heavy lifting and changing those links for us to HTTPS in the background. So we recommend keeping really simple SSL active on your site all the time to make sure everything runs smoothly. So now we're gonna take a look at our second method. And because our second method is a manual method, it is a little bit more involved but it does offer a more performance optimized solution. So if that's something you're looking for, this method is definitely for you. Let's do it. So as I said, the second method is a little bit more involved and is probably more suited to a more intermediate to advanced user of WordPress or someone that's used to copying and pasting code into the HT access file or the WP config file as well and being able to access them. So if you're not comfortable with any of the steps that I show you in this method, then choose method one as that's the recommended method for beginners. So the first thing that we need to do on this website to migrate our WordPress site from HTTP to HTTPS in this method is head to settings right here and then click on general. And now we're under the general settings. We can see that our WordPress address URL and our site address URL are HTTP, both of them. All we need to do is add the S in there and change them to HTTPS. Once we've done that, we head down here and just click on save changes. After that, you know that's been successful when WordPress logs you out of the site. So now we have to add a few bits of code to our HT access file to then divert our site from HTTP to HTTPS. And to do that, I'm gonna be using the file manager on my Bluehost hosting panel, and you should be able to access a file manager on your hosting panel too. If you don't have access to that, then you can use a FTP client like FileZilla or something like that to access your WordPress files. So right now I'm just gonna log into my Bluehost hosting panel. And now that I'm in my Bluehost hosting panel, I'm just gonna to head to advanced down here and click on that. And then I'm gonna click on the file manager right here under the files section. So now I'm in the file manager for my website and I can see that I've got all my WordPress files right here. Just make sure you're in the root folder of your website. So the file that we wanna change right here is the HT access file right there. What I recommend you do is right click on that file and download it before you make any changes. Then I'm gonna right click it again and then click on edit. It's gonna give me a little bit of a warning here to back up the file before we make any changes. I've done that, so I'm just gonna click on the edit button right there. So here we can see we're in the editor for our HT access file. And all we need to do is paste a bit of code in here. I've popped a link in the description below to the article that goes with this video. And if you head to that article, which is right here, and scroll down, you'll find this section right here, which is the bit that we need to paste into our HT access file. So all we need to do is copy this bit of code, head to our file manager and paste in our bit of code there. Once you've added that code in, you can click save changes up here in the top right. Back in the file manager here, we also recommend that you do this step as well, just to force HTTPS in areas like the admin panel, the dashboard, things like that. So to do that, all you need to do is head to your WP config file right here, which is just below where the HT access file is. Right click on that, download it just to back that file up as well. And then right click on that and click on edit. It's also gonna give you another warning just to make sure that you downloaded that just in case. Click the little edit button there to edit that file. So all we need to do is scroll down to the bottom of this file and just before the that's all stop editing, we're just gonna make a little bit of space here. We're gonna paste in a line of code from the article as well. So heading back over to the article, we can see there's this bit of code here to paste into the WP config file. So we're just gonna copy that, head back over to the editor and paste that in here. Once you've pasted that in there, click on save changes at the top right and that will save those changes. So once you've done all that, you should see the little padlock up where the URL is. That'll let you know that your site is now fully migrated over to HTTPS from HTTP. With this method, there is the possibility of mixed content errors throughout your site. So to stop that happening, all you need to do is install a plugin called Better Search and Replace. So we're gonna head over to plugins here on the left-hand side, hover over that and then click on Add New. And then up here in the top right, just type in Better Search. This is the plugin we want right here. It's by Delicious Brains and it's got over 1 million active installations. So we know it's a trusted plugin. So we're just gonna click on the install now button and then the activate button as well. 
So once that plugin's activated, just head over to tools here on the left hand side, hover over that, and then you'll see better search and replace is right here. Just click on that. So with better search and replace, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all those mixed content errors that we would get from the migration from HTTP to HTTPS by searching for any of the original HTTP links or URLs throughout our database, uploads, images, etc., and replacing them with the HTTPS URL as it is now. So to do that, all we need to do is just copy the URL of your website and paste that in. Just make sure you remove the HTTPS for the search for. So basically we're searching for the HTTP version of our site right there. And then we're gonna replace it with the version that we have currently, HTTPS. And then it's advised that we select all of our tables. We're gonna click the top one and then we go all the way to the bottom, hold on shift and click the bottom one as well. That selected all the tables. And then we're gonna uncheck this box right here, scroll down a little bit and then run search and replace. Just click that button right there. So once that's done, it gives you a little note right here to let us know what exactly was done during that process. We can find out more details here if we want, but as far as this method goes, we've now migrated our website over to HTTPS and we have fixed all those mixed content errors that we would find with our website. If you do find that you have any issues with this process, then we totally recommend that you, you install the really simple SSL plugin to handle all of the issues that you may face at this point. So the final thing we recommend doing in this video is adding your new website URL to your Google search console. And the reason we recommend doing this is because Google sees HTTP and HTTPS as two different websites. So you may have the HTTP website already added to your Google search console. You need to add your HTTPS site as well. So for me, I'm just gonna add it to the URL prefix right here because mine's a subdomain. I'm just gonna add it right there and then click on continue. So once you see this pop-up, it's to verify the ownership of the site. All you need to do is download this file right here and save that to your computer. Then head to your file manager for your website. Make sure you're in the root folder of your website. And all you need to do is upload the file. Click on upload up here. I'm gonna select the file. So there it's uploaded the file. Go back and just check that that file is in there. So yeah, that file's right there. You head back to Google and then once you're back on your Google search console, just click the verify button right there. It may take a minute to verify that you own that site. Once it's verified, it'll let you know that ownership is verified and you can then go to your property. And now you can see that it has added the HTTPS version of your site to your Google search console. So that's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, let us know in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to our channel to see more video content that helps you out with your WordPress site. Here's a couple of videos you might wanna check out next. Thanks for watching.